All right, guys, Wednesday, February 24th, we've got bench press 10, 9, 8. So some big sets on the bench. Um, and I did that so we can, uh, it, it, this isn't going to probably take as much prep to get pr ready for whatever we're going to do on the 10, 9, and 8. This is a hard one. It's going to be a little bit more of a guess. And each set is going to kind of build off the next base on how you're feeling. It's We've done this volume with the deadlifts. It's a lot of reps. It's 27 reps, okay? So it doesn't need to be heavy. Um, and, and more importantly, I'd say keep the bar moving, okay? So try not to rest too long at the top when your arms are extended. See if you can keep the bar going up and down pretty quick. Make it, make it more of a cardio set of bench press, okay? So set of 10, go up a little bit. Set of 9, go up. And we'll end on the set of 8, which will be the one we record, okay? And then we got a lengthy workout here. Rep scheme is 27, 21, 15, 9. Reps for time. Row calories, box jump overs, tucks, and then times four double unders. Okay? So, row calories. That's going to take a little bit. Okay? Big sets at the beginning. All right? So, we'll have to stagger this a little bit, but it, it'll be okay. It'll, it'll separate enough on the jump overs and tucks and double unders so that we can all have an opportunity at the row. If you're going to bike, it's going to be the exact same. And I did put the uh, female calories in the notes. So, take a peek there. But I have it posted online uh, just as these numbers. Okay? The jump overs, uh, box jump overs are at 24 and 20. So coming off of a row, your legs are going to be a l pretty fatigued, okay? Especially on those first couple sets. Um, so ease into the box jump overs, okay? Uh, you know, put, put some effort into each jump so we don't trip and, and fall over, topple over to the other side, okay? Um, the tuck. So remember, that's where we start in a hollow position and our feet and hands are off the ground, we tuck our knees into our chest and reach our hands down towards our ankles and then immediately move back into that hollow body extended position, okay? Now, one way to modify this, an easy way, is just start with your feet and hands on the ground and still complete the tuck, okay? One other way to do it is keep your hands at your sides and as you tuck up, kind of crunch your upper body and tuck your knees into your chest. You can also do it by alternating uh, one knee. So hands are overhead. I tuck one knee up and reach both hands down, alternating each rep. There's a lot of ways to do it. Coaches will give you some ways to do it. And then for the double unders, okay? We got to do a little bit of math here off the top of my head. 27, that's uh, 108. So the first set is going to be 108. Second set is 84, then 60, and then 36, okay? So each set of double unders, if you look at the 27, 21, 15, 9, you're going to multiply that number by 4. That's the amount of double unders to complete when you get to the, that portion of each round, okay? Now, we can always revert to single unders. Heck, you could even remove the times 4 and just do uh, 27, 21, 15, and 9 double unders, okay? So you guys kind of pick... Uh, again, it's a time to it's it's it is time to practice dubs in this workout if you choose to do so, um, and you can taper time spent if you're doing that. Maybe like go ninety seconds and then a minute and then forty five and then thirty something. You can play around with you know uh, the time you spend on there. Okay, um, but again, we got row calories, box jump overs, tucks, and then double unders. Should be a fun one.